Welcome to the video tutorial of JPA Classes Reverse Engineering Module of JPA Modeler. So first to start with, we will create some entity beans. Create a new file and select categories as persistence and file types as entity class and click next. Here we can provide a name to our entity like student and we can also change package location and click finish. Now you can see, NeatBeans has created the new entity bean, with the name student. Now we will create one more entity with the name course. Now you can see, NeatBeans has created the new entity bean, with the name course. The relationship between course entity and student entity is many to many. So here you can see student collection list attribute with many to many annotation is added to course entity. Now we will refactor students list property to auto generate setter and getter method. And also in student entity, course list property with many to many annotation is added. Now we will create embeddable class with name address. Now we will add three attributes street, city and state to embeddable address class. And refactor it for auto generation of setter and getter method. Now we will add address attribute to student entity class with embedded annotation. Now to reverse engineering JPA class, create a new file, and select categories as persistence, and file types as JPA diagram form reverse engineering and click next. Here you can see available entity classes in project. Now select and add all entity class and click next. Here you can change the package and file name of generated JPA diagram. And now click finish to reverse engineer selected classes. Now you can see, NeatBeans has created the JPA diagram. Now double click on diagram and you can see generated JPA diagram from Java classes reverse engineering. You can compare source code with generated JPA diagram both are in same state. Now we will delete source code and we will regenerate it from JPA diagram. Now we will add basic attribute zip code to address embeddable class. And now right click and press generate source code. Here you can see source code is generated again.
and now address embeddable class has one more attribute zip code. Thank you.